For the subtitled version, click the link below. Welcome to the hashtag MoveNow training series. We see a montage of three people doing training drills in a blue studio, a Paralympian in a wheelchair and a boy and girl. Episode one, Nico Langman. Introducing our first day one -er. I'm Zach. And our second day one -er. I'm Ellie. Growing up, sports for me, it was, they weren't role models. There's always been a bit of a perception that because you're disabled, you know, perhaps you can't do as much as you can. I'm Nico Langmann, two times Paralympic athlete and Austria's number one in wheelchair tennis. Nico hits a tennis ball and smashes giant letters saying day one. It's time for your day one. Learn with Nico, then give it a go. What you'll need, five training cones, five small balls, one bucket and one tennis racket, or any similar household items. The hardest part in every sporting journey is getting started. This is your day one at professional training drills. If you're ready to try this at home, get in position and be ready to join us for our first drill. Drill one is called arm lifts. It's a perfect drill to strengthen your wrists and your shoulders. Step one, put the arms on the side of your body and start moving them up and down. Step two, you also move your wrists with it to get the flappy movement. You can do this either if you're standing up, you can do this if you're sitting down. Let's try to do it for 30 seconds. Arms to the side and we start moving just the arms and when we feel comfortable, we add the flappy movement. Now we're finished with drill one. We're nice and warm. Nice and warm? You feeling ready for the next one? Yeah, I'm good. Let's go. Ready. Now it's your turn. Press pause and try for 30 seconds. Repeat three times. Well done. On to drill two. Drill two, speed slalom. It's to increase your agility. All you need for that is five random items. Either it's a water bottle or it's cones. You just put them in a line on the floor and you move through it. If you do it five times, you'll be faster in the end. Let's go, man. Zach on, weaves man. between Oof, training cones. I haven't cones. done this about my walking frame, so... That's actually pretty impressive that you can already do that. You can Ellie runs faster, through the slalom. As you do it. And here we go, this is the finish line! <laughs> nice. Yeah. Nico gives them both nice. fist bumps. Now it's your turn. Press pause and try 10 circuits. Repeat three times. Nailed it. Time for drill three. Drill number three is a lot trickier than it actually looks like. We call it the double juggle which is perfect for hand-eye coordination. It is just throwing two balls simultaneously in the air and catching them again. You can do it with your right hand, you can do it with your left hand, you can do it also with two hands. But let's try to do it together 10 times, and if you drop it, count again. Let's start with throwing this ball from one hand to the other. Let's maybe try to involve the floor in our exercise as well. Zach, how do you feel? It's a bit challenging, but getting the hand Getting the timing right, is it? So then let's try to throw the ball up in the air and catch it again. Maybe with one hand, maybe with two, however you feel most comfortable. Yeah, I think it's really good. We've got the practice down. And not overthinking it too much. So we're happy to move on? Yep. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Now it's your turn. Press pause and try juggling for 10 seconds. Repeat three times. Great stuff. Let's move on to drill four. Drill four is called shuttle dash. This drill will test your acceleration. And for that, we have to implement two bases. One is the bucket base and one is the item base. So we start at the bucket, sprint to the items, pick an item up, sprint back to the bucket. Do that five times until all the items are back in the bucket and you'll see you get faster. Let's go. Ellie sprints towards nice. the ball. Ellie grabs one, runs nice. back and puts it in the bucket. On, it. Zach has He's a go. Zach well. gets the one ball last in. Time, one last time. Go Zach it. nails yes. it again. Perfect. Everyone high fives. Thank now it's your turn. Press pause and try to get all items into the bucket. Repeat three times. Keep going. Final drill, drill five. This is drill number five. We call it balance ball, which is perfect for hand-eye coordination. But all we need is a pen and a ball. And we try to balance this ball around the edge of the pen. We can do this maybe around 10 times in each direction. And you can do it standing up. You can do it sitting down. If you're very advanced already, you can try to bounce the ball and even maybe hit the ball. Nico try to bats do it the ball ten away. times in every direction and then we get a feeling for the ball. All three of them try to I balance think the balls. We can call that drill perfectly done. Check. Yeah. Check, wow. exactly. Now it's your turn. Press pause and try 10 rotations with your ball. Repeat three times. Smashed it. So, guys. Day one complete, 
How did you find it? Doing it today, just like, it was, it was a great feeling because I was adapting. I was learning through the process and it felt really good. A very important question comes now. Did you have fun today? Of course we did. <laughs> I think sport is hugely important in terms of the amount of confidence you can gain from it. But I think the three of us here today proves that we can do anything we dare to dream to. So there you go. One day can change everything. Move now. Bring on day two. Tap the website link below for your downloadable training plan. Alliance, worldwide Olympic and Paralympic partner.